Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding group employees of the same salary and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called employees with three different columns, employee ID, name and salary. Employee ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates the employee ID, employee name and salary. A company wants to divide the employees into teams such that all the members on each team have the same salary and it should follow the following criteria. Each team should consist of at least two employees. All the employees on a team should have the same salary. All the employees of the same salary should be assigned to the same team. If the salary of the employee is unique, we do not assign this employee to any team. A team's ID is assigned based on the rank of the team's salary relative to other team's salary, where the team with the lowest salary has team ID equal to 1. Note that the salaries for employees not on the team are not included in this ranking. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to get the team ID of each employee that is in a team. The order of the results should be sorted by team ID in, descend, in ascending order and in case of a tie by employee ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we have five different employees with their different salaries. So if you see Meyer and Michael, their salary is same, right? And then Adeline and Canon, their salary is same. Zwan, it is only equal to itself and not, nothing else, right? So it will not be included. So in the final output, we are going to include Meyer, Michael, Adeline and Canon. Meyer and Michael would be in the same team because they have the same salary and Adeline and Canon is going to be in the same team since they have the same salary. Now, what is the team ID? for Meyer and Michael and Adeline and Canon. So it should be one for Meyer and Michael because their salary is lower than Adeline and Canon, that is team two, right? So here it would be team two, right? So if you see Meyer and Michael salary and then team ID one and Adeline and Canon team ID two. Okay, so first thing what we can do is we can use this table and use a window functions to basically identify that for each of the salaries or each of the unique salaries that we have, what is the number of employees that have that, right? And then we can save that in a common table expression and using that common table expression, we can only keep those rows where the number of employees in a particular salary group was more than two and then use a rank ranking functions to basically rank the team IDs of different salary groups based on the least salary getting rank one and second one getting rank two and so on. Right. So let's start developing this. So from this table called employees, what we are doing it, let's keep all the three columns and then count the different unique IDs or different employee IDs, right? So employee ID, and since we are using a window function, so over, and then we want to basically uh, do that for partition by salary right so what we are doing is we are creating partitions by salary and trying to count the number of employees right and since employee id is the primary key so it will count distinct employees right and then let's alias this as number of employees in that group right okay now what we can do is we can save this thing in a common table expression. So like with CTE as, and this entire thing goes into parentheses. Now, what we'll be having is that from this common table expression, let's keep only those rows where number of employee in that group, right, is greater than equal to two, because it says that each group should at least have two employees and if the salary of the employee is unique we do not assign them to any employees so it does not make sense to keep 
employees whose salary is unique so once we have this right so from the common table expressions where the number of employees in that salary group is at least two then what we are doing is since in the output we require employee id name and salary so we do return employee id name and salary and then create a fourth column which will basically be the team id now to do this what we need to do is we need to rank based on salary right and now there are three different ways as we have discussed number of times in our previous videos that there are three ways to rank row number rank and dense rank right so here we have to see that all those people in a group whose salary is same should be assigned the same team id right so obviously row number is not a good thing to use here because row number even if same values in two rows assigns a new number every time now in the rank when you use rank if two rows have same values it will assign a same value right but it will jump one step for the next one so here after assigning one here it will be assigning three not two if we use rank so to get this we need to use dense rank so what do we do is we rank using the dense rank function and since this is a window function we do over and since we need to you know assign the rank one to the team with the lowest salary so we order by salary right in ascending order and then this can be called as team id okay so this looks good and here it also says that once we have this we need to return the order the table ordered by team id in ascending order and employee id in ascending order so we write order by team id and in case of a tie employee id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question even though it says medium difficulty but if you follow the logic it is very simple all you had to do was firstly identify which salary groups have at least two employees right and based on that what we are doing is we are ranking on salary in ascending order and ranking them and assigning that values to the team id now we can rank using various functions and here for our needs dense rank was the most apt right so let me know in the comment section if you know a better way or a more efficient way of doing this let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video